The Association of United Nations Ambassadors for Peace, in partnership with the Mighty One Empowerment Foundation, has inducted new members in a bid to promote global peace and sustainable development. The induction that was accompanied by a workshop in Abuja is seen as a significant step towards fostering a culture of peace and advocacy. Our correspondent Victoria Ayorinde, who attended the ceremony, brings us more. The induction ceremony held in Abuja by the Association of United Nations Ambassadors for Peace marked a significant milestone in the association's effort to foster a culture of peace and advocacy. The new members comprising distinguished individuals from various walks of life have pledged to uphold the values of peace, tolerance and understanding. So, you see me being one of the uh, uh, peacemakers in the group the So that's been so much uh, the role that we are going to play here is just simple to be an agent of uh, peace in the society, bridge peace to people, to let peace reign. This one has caused me to do it. And my dream is going to fulfill it. Present at the induction is a representative of the Director General, National Orientation Agency Charles Iwanchuku who reiterated the agency's commitment in upholding the value of peace in Nigeria for the nation's well-being. He also reviewed the agency's support for the association. This association, the goals and the objectives are independent with the goals of National Orientation Agency. National Orientation Agency preaches peace. And moreover, at the present uh, situation in the country, this is the highest time we need peace in the country. So National Orientation Agency will support this organization and any other intended organization to collaborate with us to preach the gospel of peace. Because if there's no peace, there will be no development in the country. And globally, if Nigeria is looked upon to be the giant of Africa, if there's no peace in this region, then it will affect the entire uh, globe. Ambassador Emmanuel Emeka revealed that the induction of the new members is a crucial step towards achieving the goal of promoting peaceful coexistence in society. He charged the newly inducted members to stay true to the mandates of the association. The message to the, the newly inducted ambassadors, um, they should first of all understand that the result of a good work is small work. So they are expected to preach peace wherever they are. As ambassadors of peace, United Nations, the expected of them that wherever they are, they should be peacemakers. They should build people and incorporate peace in the life of people around them. So they should also engage themselves in a conflict resolution. Especially in our society today, we need people who are very truthful, transparent, humble, and sincere. Beginning from where they are, it is expected that each of them and all of them, including all of us, God has given the grace to become United Nations Ambassador for Peace. It is expected that whatever we are, we reach peace. Secretary of the Association, Professor Dominique Sarulaka, emphasized the importance of community engagement conflict resolution and education in building a culture of peace, which is the focus of the workshop. We decided today to encourage them and to grant them free training, free technical workshop in order to improve on uh, volunteerism, promoting and building peace in their rural communities and then aiding community development. After this phase, we are expecting we are expecting that they will take this public service assignment very seriously. Very seriously. So that the goal is to achieve a society that enjoys global peace. And a society in which development is major and working by all dimensions. Leaders of the association see the induction ceremony and technical workshop as a demonstration of the association's commitment to promoting global peace and sustainable development. Victoria Ayori Day, reporting for Captain TV.